we're going to be talking about the American League second half preview. Now, where I want to start here is go division by division, and I want to talk about the AL East. So let's preview the AL East. The Yankees are going to win. The end. <laughs> the Yankees are the best team in baseball, and they have been all year. They sit at 64 and 28 with a win percentage just south of 700. And they're only there because they kind of scuttled into the all-star break, if you will, losing a series to the Reds. And just, it was a little bit of a struggle there coming down the stretch before the, before the all-star game, but they're sitting at 64 and 28, 13 games ahead of the second place team, 13 games ahead. Now you might think, wow, everybody else in that division, they got no shot. Well, there's a realistic chance that four teams in the AL East could make the playoffs. There's a realistic chance of that. Now, the Rays are in second place. They're 13 games back. The Blue Jays are 14 and a half games back. The Red Sox, 16 and a half games back. And what? The Baltimore Orioles are 46 and 46, sitting at 500 at the All Star break. Unbelievable in itself. But what I want to talk about with the AL East is yes, I, the Yankees are going to win this division. Three teams are going to make the playoffs from the AL East. It will not be four. It will not be two. And it will not just be the Yankees. We're going to see three AL East teams in the playoffs. That's my prediction here. I'm going to say the Tampa Bay Rays and the Toronto Blue Jays are the two teams that make the playoffs out of the AL East. Now let's take a look at the AL wildcard standings just to get a grasp for where they are because in the division, no shot. But let's look at the wild card. You got the Rays and the Blue Jays and the Mariners all tied for that top spot. So as of right now, the Rays and the Blue Jays would be in. I like that to stay the case. I think when it comes to the division, Yankees are going to win. But I like for the Rays and the Blue Jays to stay the course. I think the Jays are going to get better than they were in the first half. They've been through a lot. They've been through a managerial change. They've been through Vladimir Guerrero Jr. not hitting as well as he normally does. They've been through some pitching, pitching issues. They've dealt with a lot. This team is talented, very talented. It's why I had them in the World Series. I believe in them. I believe they make the wild card. When it comes to the Rays, I've just learned never to bet against them. That's the key with the Tampa Bay Rays. Just never count them out. Never bet against them. And what they've done this year throughout injuries and Wander Franco being injured. And, you know, he's a superstar. And when he was playing, he wasn't as good as we know he will be and can be. But then there's the injury and they've been without him. I mean, you just look all around and this team has been dealing with so much. And they're still 51 and 41. That is remarkable in its own right. The Tampa Bay Rays are going to get in the playoffs, and if you're ever betting against them, you should really reconsider doing that. So that's what I'm looking at here in the AL East. Yankees winning, and three teams total in the AL East are going to make the playoffs, which means I have the Boston Red Sox not making the cut. The Red Sox currently sit at 48 and 45, just a game and a half ahead of the Baltimore Orioles. They scuttled into the all-star break three and seven in their last 10 Chris sale, poor Chris sale. This is just getting to the point where you just feel flat out awful for the guy, whether you love him or hate him, whether you like the Red Sox or you hate the Red Sox, you just feel terrible for Chris sale. Gets hit with a comebacker the other day, breaks his pinky finger. He walks off the field with his pinky finger looking like a, a paper clip that was bent in half. It was awful. And now who knows how long he's going to miss, but it was on his left hand. So obviously he's left-handed. That was not pretty, and that will not be good for them. Pitching, a struggle. We all talk about the offense of the Boston Red Sox, but has that really been elite? The top half of their lineup is, but the bottom half doesn't do much damage at all. 
it's a struggle there for the Red Sox, and I don't believe they're going to get into the playoffs. What from that front office has told you over the last few years that they are going to be all in at the trade deadline, and they're going to go out and make the biggest move on the market and improve their team enough to beat the rest of these teams and get into the playoffs? Nothing. Nothing has shown that, and I don't think they get in. But moving on over to the AL Central. Second half preview, AL Central. I got a hot take for you. And I wouldn't have even believed myself about two, three, four weeks ago. But the AL Central, the Minnesota Twins, who I actually like. They're sitting at 50 and 44. The Guardians are sitting at 46 and 44. A great story this year. The Cleveland Guardians have been so much fun to watch when nobody expected it. And the Chicago White Sox sit at 46 and 46, 500 baseball. My second half prediction here, and when I preview the second half in the AL Central, watch out for the White Sox. I believe in the White Sox. I believe the White Sox win the AL Central. Now, why? Well, there's a few reasons why. The White Sox on paper and and. Just to preface, I could care less about a team on paper. You need to show me something. But on paper, the White Sox are clearly the best team. Okay? It just hadn't clicked for them this year at any point. Fast forward to the series before the All-Star break. The biggest series of the year for every team involved. The Minnesota Twins and the Chicago White Sox. This was the series of, hey, you're leading the division You weren't expected to be this good. You're not supposed to win the division against the team that has underperformed to the point of it almost being embarrassing. They have been so bad. Tony La Russa is not the answer in Chicago. He has just not been good. Say what you want about the clubhouse and whether you think the guys play for him or not. The decisions he has made on the field have just been boneheaded to this point this year. I mean, intentionally walking Trey Turner... In a one-two count, I mean, the list goes on here, but he hasn't been very good. I'm predicting the White Sox to win. They win three of four in that massive series against the Twins. They've now won seven of ten heading into the All-Star break. The Twins are going in the opposite direction. They've won three of ten, meaning they've lost seven of ten. So they're going in the opposite direction. The White Sox are finally playing better baseball, but there have been a few points this year where it seemed, hey, The White Sox finally look like they're going to kick it into gear. And then they just let everybody down. This feels different. They played the best team in the division so far in the Twins with Byron Buxton, Carlos Correa. It's a revamped team. Joe Ryan looks to be really good. I would love the Twins to get into the playoffs. I just think this White Sox team is too good and too talented to not figure it out. And up until three weeks ago, I would have said there's no chance. What they're doing is ridiculous. They're not going to fire Tony La Russa because he has the best relationship of all time, apparently, with Reinsdorf. I don't know what's going on there, but they have a great relationship. And despite everybody knowing Tony La Russa probably isn't the best fit there, he's there. And it appears he's there for the long haul. But they've also turned it around and started playing better baseball. I believe in the White Sox. The overwhelming favorite to win the division. The best odds in the in baseball to win their division. I like the White Sox and what they've been doing lately. And I think the White Sox take it in the AL Central. And I don't think any other team is going to make the playoffs there. Like I said, I would love to see the Twins. I would love to see the Guardians. But in my second half preview, I think it's going to be the White Sox and... And I think that's it. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3 0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213 537 9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.